This video will detail the steps required to install your Fantec Trade Quinton ceiling fan. It is important to note that this installation must be performed by a qualified electrician. Electricity supply must be switched off at the mains before undertaking this installation. First, open the box and ensure all components are present. Refer to the printed installation instructions for a full list of what should be included. The next step is to fit the fan blades to the body. Remove the motor cover by turning it anti-clockwise as shown. Loosen and remove the blade bolts from the fan. Slide the blade into the designated slot. Position the blades so that the holes in the blade and the housing line up. Then, insert and tighten both bolts by hand. Ensure that they are tight enough that they will not come loose during operation, but are not over tightened. Repeat with the remaining three blades and replace the motor cover. Next, select the location where you wish to install the fan. The fan must be positioned so that there is a minimum of 300 millimeters from the tip of the blades to the closest wall or permanent object, and at least 2100 millimeters between the floor and the lowest point of the fan blades. Next, use a stud finder to locate the closest ceiling joist to your desired location. If one is not available, you may need to fit an additional support beam in the ceiling. Ensure that the support is strong enough to hold at least 30 kilograms of weight. If installing the fan on an angled ceiling, ensure that the angle is below 18 degrees. Once you have selected a suitable location to install the fan, secure the mounting bracket to the ceiling joist by using the supplied timber screws. If you are using a support made from material other than timber, ensure the correct fasteners are used to secure the mounting bracket. Drill a hole in the plaster just large enough to fit the mains wiring through that will be hidden by the fan's cover plate. Feed the mains wiring through, ensuring that it can reach the terminal strip on the mounting bracket comfortably. Once the bracket has been secured, run the mains wiring into the terminal strip located on the mounting bracket. Carefully lift the fan downrod ball into the hanging bracket and rotate so the tab on the mounting bracket rests inside the notch on the downrod ball. This will stop the downrod from rotating during use. If you are not installing the remote receiver, join the Quick Connect wiring terminals, then replace the cover plate tightening the screws. If you are installing the optional remote receiver, connect the remote receiver to the plug on the mounting bracket and then slide the receiver into position inside the mounting bracket. Then connect the receiver to the plug on the fan and fit the cover plate into position. The remote control printed instructions include a wiring diagram for reference. Tighten the two screws. If using the wall mounted switch supplied with the fan, cut a small hole in the wall for the switch. Run the mains wiring through the wall as required. Fit the switch to the wall using a backing plate. If you are installing the fan with the optional remote control, then simply secure the controls cradle to the wall using the screws provided.
Once the wiring has been completed, switch the mains back on and test run the fan. If using the optional remote control, be sure to follow the operating procedure outlined in the separate installation instructions. Once running, check the fan is spinning smoothly and there is no evidence of wobble or vibration. If you wish to change the direction of the fan rotation to switch between summer and winter mode, simply reposition the switch located on the top side of the motor housing. Remember to wait until the fan has stopped spinning before making this change. Once again, this installation must be performed by a qualified electrician. Electricity supply must be switched off at the mains before undertaking this installation.